Okay, so do apologize, Joanna, that you don't have your sample, but for anyone else that does, we had a lemon sample. Linda, you, I don't know if you've got your oils to hand. I can go and get them. Yeah, so if you go and grab your lemon, your peppermint, wild orange and lavender. So what we would do is just pop a drop of lemon into our water. And then the lemon aids with digestion and it naturally cleanses the body. So I um, put a drop of lemon in my water every morning. Um, great way to, to take the oils, but obviously only doTERRA, but we'll come to explain that a bit later. I'm back, okay, I'm so, back with my oils. Okay, so add a drop to your water, Linda. You just need yep. one drop. Okay. okay, so if I could ask everybody to mute themselves, please. Off we go. So for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Debbie and um, I'd just like to share with you how I got involved with doTERRA essential oils. Um, my two boys have left home, my husband has his cycling hobby, so I was looking for a, a new interest for myself. And um, I've always been interested in leading a healthy lifestyle. I eat well and exercise regularly. And um, last year I went to a women's wellness retreat and got involved um they had a an essential oil workshop and i was so taken with the oils as um, the lady taking the workshop started to talk about her experience and she'd had her own business and um, got very very stressed and rather than turning to medication somebody introduced her to uh, doTERRA essential oils and i was just so inspired by her story uh, that I couldn't resist getting a, a set of my own. And it, it honestly changed the way I, I live from that moment on. So I quickly developed a huge passion, not only for using the oils, but sharing them too. If anybody, any of my family or friends had an ailment or you know anything wrong with them, I'd say, oh, there's an oil for that. And I just love the fact that they're so versatile. I use them for any ailments, um, I use them in my cleaning products, in my beauty products, and I've even started using them in the garden. I found a recipe for a, an amazing weed killer. So, um, so yeah, I just use them for absolutely everything. So that's a little bit about me. Over to Sarah. Okay, so I've always been really interested in food and baking and cooking, and more recently, over re um, more recent years how food can affect your body and how you can use it for curing and healing different ailments and conditions and um, Debbie's been a friend for some time now and we've always shared our love of um, food and healthy ideas and recipes and, and once Debbie started using them it was only natural that she'd share her love of them with me um, so prior to being introduced to them I'd only ever really used um, eucalyptus for a cold and maybe peppermint at Christmas to make peppermint cream with the boys. Um, so I didn't have any experience of essential oils or did I know that they had like properties for healing and emotional support and wellness. Um, so I joined a class at Debbie's house and bought the home essentials kit which we'll be talking about um, and I can honestly say that I've been using them every day since I bought that kit um, through um, not only just for ailments, but for supporting sleep, for yoga, for exercise, um, and also in cooking and cleaning. And um, my, uh, I've got teenage boys, and after initially laughing at me when I, every time they mentioned some kind of ailment, I'd be saying, "Oh, I've got an oil for that." They now use them daily, and they've got um, my younger one's got a diffuser, which he loves using for like focus and relaxing and like calming. And my oldest son uses them for sporty pursuits and uses the um, oils and beadlets. So there's really so many uses for them. And I'm really looking forward to sort of sharing that with you tonight. Okay, so um, before we get going, it's important to point out that we're, neither of us are doctors. So we're not here to prescribe any oils for ailments. Um, and just to, if, if any of you are on any long-term medication, you should always check with your doctor to make sure it's okay to use the oils. 
but what we are here to do is to edu educate and empower you and introduce you to a whole new world of essential oils. So what is an essential oil? So um, basically they're natural aromatic compounds found in plants. When you experience the refreshing, uplifting smell of pine trees or the calming scent of lavender or the invigorating smell of lemons, what you're experiencing is the powerful natural sense of essential oils. They can come from the seeds, the bark, the leaves, the stems, the roots, the flowers, or the fruit of the plant. And these aromatic compounds are extracted from plants uh, for their health benefits, either by steam distillation or cold pressed extraction. The essential oils give the plant its scent, um, protect it from hazardous environmental conditions, and even assist it with pollination. So it's basically the plant's immune system. And from a scientific perspective, essential oils are small organic molecules that change quickly from a, gas, from a liquid to a gas state when they reach room temperature. That's why the bottled essential oils are so powerful. And a bottle of essential oil contains tiny molecules in a liquid state. So when you unscrew the cap and open up the bottle, the molecules change quickly from a liquid to a gas. And that's why you can smell the oil immediately, even from a distance. So we're going to enjoy an oil experience. So Joanna, when you get your oils, what you need to do is take a drop of wild orange and a drop of peppermint. Now the oils that we, we send out are in little sample bottles. And um, with those, if you just turn them upside down and tap the bottom and three taps are equivalent to one drop, so it would be three taps of orange, wild orange and three taps of peppermint. So what you do to experience them aromatically, you can just pop a drop or three taps of wild orange in one hand and then a drop of lemon, um, sorry, peppermint in the other. And then you rub them together. So wild orange, is the oil of abundance and it's affectionately known as the happy oil. It's high in antioxidants, which are essential to overall well-being and uplifting for the mind and body. And peppermint is one we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but it's, it's very um, potent and you mustn't get it too close to your eyes because it, it'll, it'll sting. So you cup your hands together and then you take five deep inhalations. And then with any residue that's left on your hand, you can rub it on the back of your neck. And then you'll notice a little bit later, you'll probably, you'll either get a, a cooling sensation or a warming sensation. It, it affects people in different ways. So that's a, that's a lovely way to experience them aromatically. So a little bit about how essential oils work. So when you open that bottle of essential oil, your, your senses are instantly filled with its potent aroma, even from a distance. And what your nose detects are the natural, naturally occurring elements of the essential oil. When you inhale, the scent molecules travel from the olfactory nerves, um, which are right at the top of your nose, and they go directly to the brain and especially impact the emotional center of the brain. You'll probably find that there are certain smells that take you back to something you did in your childhood. Um, for me, I used to go to um, a lot of motocross events with my, my, my dad used to race. And even now, if I um, smell a motorbike, especially like a scramble bike, it takes me back to all those years. So, so you'll find that um, yeah, the smell triggers things in your brain from years ago, which is quite fascinating, really. So uh, plants are water-based and um, so are we, which is what makes essential oils compatible with our bodies. They're easily absorbed through our skin and travel around the body via the bloodstream. Um, this way they are able to deliver a range of, cell of benefits to the body's systems and organs. And they work on a cellular level 
And it's quite fascinating that within 20 minutes, you can find traces of the oil in every cell of your body. Right, just letting somebody in a sec. Hi, Pauline. Hello, sorry I'm late. That's okay, I'll just um, mute you if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll with you later. <laughs> okay. So, three cool things about doTERRA. So the first great thing about doTERRA essential oils is that they're 100% natural and safe. There's nothing added to the oil or taken away from the oil. They're just simply um, pure essential oils with no side effects and no addictions. They're safe for babies, for children, adults and the elderly. The oils are extracted from plants that have amazing health benefits. And a pure essential oil is about 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. One drop of, a pe of peppermint oil is equivalent to drinking 28 cups of peppermint tea. So they're really, really potent. The second great thing about essential oils is that they're more effective than many modern approaches to health problems. I like to think of a, a cell like a Smartie. So we know that cells have oily cell membranes like the hard outer shell of a Smartie. The cell membrane protects the cell, the soft chocolate on the inside of the Smartie, and it keeps all the good things in and all the bad things out. There are two things that are harmful to our cells, our bacteria and viruses. So the bacteria usually form on the outside of the cell and viruses duplicate the DNA on the inside of the cell. So if you go to a doctor with a bacterial infection, they would give you an antibiotic. After taking the antibiotic for seven to 10 days, in most cases, it would probably clear up. Um, but often it would come with wreaking havoc with your gut, hormones and immune system. And if you went to a doctor with a virus like a cold or flu, they would tell you to go home, drink lots of fluid and rest. So the reason for this is because most of the modern recommendations are water-based synthetic agents. And frequently they come with side effects and addictions. Water and oil don't mix. So if the recommendation from your doctor is a water-based, it will have a really hard time penetrating through the oily cell mem membrane and stopping the duplication of a virus. But essential oils are different. So they are oil-based which means they can permeate the, so the cell membrane. They work on a cellular level without side effects or addictions, and they can combat bacteria on the outside of the cell and prevent that duplication of viruses on the inside. So that's why they're often more effective than the modern approach to um, health problems. And the third great thing about essential oils is that they are affordable. They're far cheaper than traditional medicinal care, so if your doctor gave you a prescription for an antibiotic, it would probably cost you about nine pounds nowadays. But just as an example, if um, you had an, an earache, if you added, um, just rubbed in two drops of lavender and two drops of melaleuca around the ear, go to bed, by the next day, the, um, the earache would have, would have cleared up. Now that would have cost you 28p. So you, you can see how cheap essential oils are. And that's not even factoring in um, the cost of getting to the doctor, obviously your, your prescription, um, you wouldn't have taken time off work. Mm -hmm. And also um, if you had been on antibiotics, they would have harmed your gut and you'd probably have to buy probiotics to fix the damage. So, so you can see um, sort of how cost effective they are. And the oils are so potent that it often only takes one drop to have, um, have a, an effect. So a little bit about doTERRA. doTERRA is an American company founded in 2008. The name doTERRA is an, um, a Latin derivative meaning gift of the earth. As you can see from the map, they source their oils from over 45 countries, more than half of which could be considered developing countries. They choose the crop from the country where the plant grows best, resulting in the best chemistry for that particular plant. So if you imagine a lemon grown, grown in my back garden in Somerset, so I could probably just about manage to grow a lemon, but it would be nothing like the lemon grown in a luscious lemon grove in Sicily under the Mediterranean sun. 
So um, doTERRA's oils are produced to the CPTG, which stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Standard, ensuring they are free from contaminants and synthetic fillers, which can often be found in essential oils bought on the high street. Each oil goes through a rigor rigorous testing process to ensure it's completely pure and natural. So it has no artificial ingredients, no fragrances or fillers, and they are certified to be free of pesticides and other chemical residues. So when you buy a doTERRA oil, you can be confident it is 100% pure oil. And it's worth taking a look at uh, source2u.com to discover how doTERRA sources its oils and how they are tested. And each bottle on the bottom, um, they have a, a batch code and you can actually find out all the scientific research about that individual oil through the website source 2 .com. And doTERRA are committed through their co-impact sourcing initiative to making a positive difference to the lives of the farmers, the harvesters, the distillers who contribute to the oil production. And additionally, um, the doTERRA Healing Hands Foundation helps support development projects including schools, health clinics and clean water systems in the communities where the oils are sourced. Now I find doTERRA is such a, a wonderful ethical company to be involved in. They held their annual convention in May this year, I think it was. Um, because of the current situation, it was all done online. It should have been in Rome. So we were, a lot of us were able to join in and it was so lovely to see the passion from the founders as they talked about the company that they've developed over the last 12 years and the difference that they've made all over the world. So wwwsource 2 is definitely worth a look. Uh, you can watch short videos on where and how the oils are sourced. Okay, over to Sarah. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you about the three ways that you can use the oils and that's with doTERRA oils. You can use them aromatically, topically and internally. Um, so aromatically, we've just had that little experience with the inhalation um, with the orange and, uh, wild orange and peppermint. And that's a really simple, easy little method where you can put the oils directly into your palm of your hands and inhale like we did. Um, alternatively, you can just um, smell them from a bottle and you still get the same aromatic benefits. So if I need a little burst of energy um, through the day or I'm feeling a little bit anxious, I would use the oils in this way for kind of lifting or calming my mood. Um, another way to use the oils aromatically is in a diffuser and I've got one glowing in the background that you should be able to see in the room. Um, now this is a cold mist diffuser and the key there is cold um, because the way that doTERRA extract their oils from plants is either by steam distillation or cold compressing them so nothing is really heated up. Um, so the active molecules are in their raw state which means they're therapeutic and active and work with our bodies. So to use the diffuser, all you do is add your water, so that's cold water with your chosen drops of essential oils and set them going. And um, we've got them around the house, in the bedrooms, and they're great for um, calming the mood, for uplifting the mood, for managing the mood, and they're, they're a great tool to have. So that's using the oils aromatically. So topically, um, is the second way that you can use them and that's directly applying an essential oil to your body. So you could apply the essential oils to the soles of your feet. Um, that's where we have particularly large pores, um, which means the oils are absorbed really quickly into the bloodstream. And that's a great way to get the oils into your system fast. Um, using this method on your feet would there'd be traces of oils in, in every cell in your body in 20 minutes, which is amazing. Um, another way that you can use them topically is directly where the body needs them on specific areas like that might be for head tension where you um, rub them across your brow and your temples um, or if you had a sore shoulder then you'd be rubbing them directly where your body needed it. Um, now the way that we use them topically um, is diluting them with a carrier oil and this is particularly um, important for young children and um, people with sensitive skins. Um, the essential oil molecules are really active and volatile and using a 
carrier oil actually helps the skin absorb the essential oil um, and it penetrates into our bloodstreams that way. So the carrier oil needs to be a, a plant-based one. We would recommend doTERRA's fractionated coconut as it's non-greasy and it's odorless, but you can use any plant-based oil, um, for example, almond oil or olive oil, um, just so long as it's one that's suited to your skin. So examples of ways that you could use um, the oils topically like this for health concerns would be um, skin irritations, spots, bites, eczema, aching muscles, head tensions. So there's lots of ways that you can actually use them topically. And then the third way, and this I must stress is very specific to doTERRA and that's because of the CPTG where they have got the certified therapeutic grade stamp that they have and we can be assured that the, every single drop is pure essential oil and that there's no nasties or fillers in there. Um, so it's only with doTERRA oils that we would use them internally. Um, every, I use them internally every day, um, whether that's flavoring my water um, that I drink or flavoring pasta dishes or salad dressings or energy balls. Um, it absolutely boosts the flavor of those things, um, but it also gives you therapeutic benefits, which is amazing. So you can have them internally. Um, you can put a drop under your tongue um, or you can have them in a glass of water. Uh, what we say, if you're gonna have them in a glass of water, it does need to be glass or ceramic or metal um, because you don't wanna be taking the oils internally from a plastic receptacle because the oils are strong and because of that they're going to leach out any of the nasties from the plastic into the water. Um, so if you're having them in a glass of water you could be having the oils to aid digestion, it could be giving you an energy boost, um, dealing with an upset tummy or getting rid of a sore throat. So internally is a really great way of having the oils. Um, as well as drinking them, you could have them in a little veggie cap, which is a little seaweed caplet that doTERRA um, supply. You just open up the little cap, put your little drops of oil in, and then swallow those down with a glass of water. And that's a really great way of getting the oils um, into the gut. You could be um, supporting the nervous system in that way if you take them internally. Um, so that's three ways of using the oils. So the essential oils are very safe and gentle without resulting in side effects but there are a few safety guidelines to bear in mind. So we would never put the oils in our eyes, our ears or up our noses and if you did get any oil in it on any sensitive part of the body you would never use water to wash it away because that would just make it worse. Um, we use the carrier oil like Sarah said um, so we use doTERRA carrier oil and just to wipe that away. Um, and also, like Sarah said, you can use any type of, so if, if you were anywhere and, and you got an oil um, and it started to sting, then even in the kitchen, you can just grab your olive oil or even butter would, would do, but never, never use um, water to wash it away. Um, we always recommend diluting the oils with a carrier oil. This is particularly important if you have sensitive skin and you should always follow the uh, dilution guidelines for children. And as I previously mentioned, you should always consult a doctor if you're on any um, long-term medication because some of the, the essential oils um, could have possible co contraindications. And always read the labels. So. Um, some oils have uh, certain uses and recommendations. For example, not all oils can be taken internally, so it's always worth um, being familiar with, with the, um, the symbols here. And some of the oils are termed as hot oils. Now that term comes from the sensation they give if you apply them topically. And if you take them internally, they could sort of give a bit of a spicy sensation. So all of the oils are potent and some have stronger reactions than others, but that um, in no way means that the hot oil should be avoided because their benefits certainly um, taken internally or topically are worth those necessary precautions. 
Some of the oils are photosensitive. Now that's normally the citrus oils or any of the blended oils that contain citrus oils. So when using those topically, it's recommended to stay out of the sun for 12 hours after use. And that also goes for sunbeds as well. As Sarah said, always or never use um, plastic unless it's BPA free PET plastic. It's best to use glass or stainless steel containers and never ever buy from doTERRA from Amazon or eBay as they're most likely to be fake. The bottles can easily be tampered with and just topped up with fillers. So you can see why um, pure essential oils like doTERRA should always be purchased from a, a wellness advocate because they are potent and they need to be treated with respect. Okay, so this is the family medicinal kit, um, which we're going to be talking you through. And um, we like to refer to this as nature's medicine cabinet. Um, we're going to be talking through six single essential oils and four blends that doTERRA created. Um, and this kit is basically for you to be using day to day in your home to replace things that you'd have in your medicine box at the moment. Um, so for your head tensions, your upset tummies, your sleep support, your immune support, breathing issues, indigestion, you name it, we'll be covering and finding a solution for all of those this evening. Um, you might actually like to take a screenshot of this. It's a really good summary of what each of the oils can um, offer as support. Um, and this is the kit that I started with at the beginning of the year, along with the diffuser. Um, uh, with no knowledge of essential oils and I've just learned every day to the point of being able to manage our health and well-being with these beautiful oils here. Okay. Okay. So on to our lovely oils. Um, firstly, starting with lemon. Uh, lemon is all things cleansing with the air, the mind and the body. I'm just gonna, it's got a beautiful, clean, fresh and um, citrusy, bright ar ar like aroma. It's um, in one of those 50 ml bottles, it's made, the oil's made of pressing the peel of 75 lemons grown in Sicily. Um, and that makes our, uh, the essential oil alkaline rather than acidic, like the, um, you know, the uh, flesh of the, the, or the lemon, sorry, is acidic. So this won't damage the enamel of your teeth. Um, just one thing to be aware of that, like Debbie said, the citral oils are photosensitive. So using them topically, you must avoid sunlight and UV rays for up to 12 hours. Um, so I use one drop of lemon oil in a glass of water first thing in the morning. Um, that's for its cleansing benefits, um, like we're all enjoying now. Um, it's a brilliant way to start the day. It's cleansing the system. It's good at flushing out the estrogen. So it's great at balancing our hormones. Um, and it's really great at um, breaking down fat. So it's good in aiding in detoxification. It's also got good benefits for focus and memory. Um, so especially when it's combined with rosemary oil. So that combination is great used in a diffuser. Um, so if you've got somebody like a student who's studying, someone who's like revising for an exam, or you've got a particularly difficult report to write, you need to focus and you're working from home, um, it's great to use something like lemon. It's a really good cleanser for the air and it smells amazing too. So it's, and, and it's good for uplifting the mood. So it's got so many varieties there. I also love to use lemon um, for making my homemade cleaning products, um, not just for the smell, but also for its fantastic ability to cut through grease. Um, it's perfect for kitchen work surfaces, for stainless steel, removing sticky residues, um, and it's great for cleaning glass and windows. So it's perfect toxic free alternative to shop bought cleaning uh, products. And the other way that you use lemon is for um, cooking, um, adding it to both sweet and savoury dishes. Um, I could probably drop um, some drops of lemon into my hummus. And then if I didn't have a lemon to hand for other recipes, I would, I'd grab my essential oil. So it's got so many uses. So you can see why it is one of our top selling oils for doTERRA. That's lemon. Next we've got lavender. 
So lavender is all things calming, um, both emotionally and physically, making it great for both the body and the mind. Um, for anyone that's got a sample or a bottle of lavender, just take a, a sniff. Um, this, a 15 ml bottle is used or is made up of three pounds of lavender flowers, which are steam distilled. And one bottle provides 250 drops of oil. So I use lavender to reduce anxious feelings. Just inhaling it direct from the bottle is enough to have a calming effect and it reduces the cortisol um, levels in your body. It, this one can also be applied neat to burns. Um, so if you sort of put your hand in the oven and, and sort of catch it, you can actually apply, apply that direct to the burn. Also for bites and stings. So it's a great one to carry around with you, especially at this time of year. It can be applied topically to soothe occasional skin irritations as well. Um, I often put this on my lips. Um, it's, it's good for sore lips. And I use this, I mean, the, the best thing, I use this daily actually or nightly, put this on the bottom of my feet to um, promote a restful sleep. And like Sarah said, the reason we apply them to our feet, that's where the, um, the pores are the largest so it gets into the system the bloodstream really quickly so tonight for any or for anyone that's got a sample or who's got some lavender i would recommend popping some of this in the bath if you've got some um, epsom bath salts just add a few drops to that and put it in the bath you can then put the remainder on your pillow you can do an inhalation so a drop in your palms rub it together and inhale and then you can put the residue on the soles of your feet or your chest and you should get a lovely night's sleep and I, I did read recently that um, if you use that say you use lavender and have a really good night's sleep and then the next night you can almost train your brain so your brain will link the smell of lavender with a good night's sleep which again is is quite fascinating really how the brain the brain works <laughs> so that's our lovely lavender okay so peppermint peppermint's all things cooling stimulating uplifting and invigorating um it's got a lovely minty fresh herbaceous aroma and it is my absolute favorite oil um, I use the oil and the beadlets every day and I particularly love um, using it with the wild orange and peppermint inhalation that we did as a pick-me-up that, that we did earlier that I use that as a pick-me-up it's great so peppermint is steam distilled from the leaves and plant of uh, the leaf of the plants so there's very high menthol content um, so if anybody's still got their peppermint to hand if you put a drop on your finger and touch the roof of your mouth with it you'll see how potent it actually is. Um, as Debbie previously said, um, one drop is the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea um, and you'll start to feel the menthol content really open up your airways and this is a really great thing to do before you exercise. So as well as that, peppermint aids with indigestion. If you're suffering with any stomach uh, discomforts, we all know that peppermint tea is commonly used. Um, so adding a drop of peppermint um, to a glass of water after a meal will really help with digestion and it can also help prevent um, and uh, manage your, any sweet cravings you have so it will quell that craving which is great. Um, topically you can use peppermint oil to relieve head tensions so if you put a drop into your palm of your hand um, with some carrier oil around about 10p uh, size drop of carrier oil to dilute it and then rub it together and then I'd swipe some over my brow and my temples and then I'd inhale it like we did earlier and then I just rub the back, rest of it into the back of our necks and your shoulders because a lot of the tension that you get from causing headaches is in in that area so that's a brilliant way to use it topically. Um, peppermint also is really good at um, using to cool the core of your body um, for children, you can put the peppermint into a roller bottle, like these um, little ones here that we have, um, and then roll it up and down the spine, their spines and the soles of their feet, and that will really help cool their system. Um, I've got a little spray bottle that I've 
um, put water and drops of peppermint oil in and over the hot days that we've had over the summer um, I've been spraying that over your body and it's really great for cooling you down uh, and it's also it can be used for supporting hot flushes which is really great to know um, and then in addition to that peppermint is um, really good at repelling flies and spiders and bugs um, so another really great use for it this time of year so peppermint oil is another one of the best-selling oils it's a favorite of, um, of customers and it's so versatile and in addition to all of that it's part of our antihistamine trio of the three oils that we've just talked about so the lemon lavender and peppermint and together they're an absolute powerhouse and can hugely help with seasonal discomfort with trees and leaves that you might have i got to use compliant doTERRA language um, so you know what I mean when I'm talking about seasonal discomfort with, with trees and leaves. Um, so you'd have a drop of each of these oils. Um, if it was a child, you'd put them in a roller ball and then you'd dilute them with carry oil, top that up in the roller ball and apply that to the soles of their feet so they're getting a full systemic reaction to it. Um, a, an adult could have a, a drop of each of those three in a glass of water because they're absolutely fine to have internally. If you're a chronic sufferer, um, I'd, I would have them in my water every morning and or take them in a veggie cap like we demonstrated earlier. And I take this combination daily um, or fairly regularly for um, sinusitis that I suffer with and that's a real help. So instead of reaching for your normal antihistamine treatment um, or the, not the natural alternative would be to use peppermint, lavender and lemon and that's a great way of aiding the body to cope. So that's peppermint. Something else I use peppermint um, in the shower in the morning I'll put a drop of peppermint and a drop of um, wild orange in the base of the shower so when the hot water to produces the steam you get that lovely um, inhalation and that's a lovely way to start the day. Okay so moving on to Melaleuca so Melaleuca is um, all things cleansing. It's nature's disinfectant and first aid for the skin. It's um, sourced from Australia from the Melaleuca tree and it's actually tea tree, which is more, more so commonly known. And doTERRA have actually rebranded it. So any new bottles are called tea tree. I use this daily. Um, for years, I've had a toenail that doesn't grow properly. And I've tried all sorts over the years, but since using Melaleuca morning and night, my toenail is finally growing. So I rate this highly. Um, it's also great for putting into your cleanser in the morning. It's particularly good for teenage skin. You can dilute it with a carrier oil and use it to clean cuts or soothe bumps and bruises. You can add it to shampoo or conditioner. So it, it, it's great for soothing any um, scalp discomfort. It works well with lavender and geranium as a combination. That's great for soothing the skin. And you can also put it in a diffuser to clean the air. Um, so like I said, it is great for the feet. So particularly if you were going swimming to avoid picking up any nasty things from your local swimming baths. And you can add it to a spray bottle to make your own um, natural surface cleaner. So I'm really into my, my green cleaning. So I make all my, my home cleaning products. Um, this has got Melaleuca. It's also got On Guard, which we'll come to shortly, and Spearmint, because I love um, the smell of Spearmint. And it's got great cleaning properties. And another tip, um, if you've got any teenage boys or men with smelly trainers, just add a few drops to a cotton wool ball, pop it in the trainers. So that, that's another great tip. So that's Melaleuca. Okay, so oregano, the big guns. Uh, this is a really powerful oil. It's your powerful immune support and it's really like nature's antibiotic. So anyone coming down with a bug or a viral infection, this is the one I'd be reaching for. Um, it's not an oil that I use every day but it's one that I'm really glad to have in my collection. Um, oregano is particularly effective at breaking through our cells fat 
base layer, which make, that's what makes it so powerful. So because of that, we don't use it um, every day because it, it can affect our gut, gut flora. So we'd use oregano seven days maximum in a row, and then we'd have a break for seven days. Um, it's what we would term a hot oil, which comes from the sensation that they give if used uh, topically. So if you are more sensitive to them, uh, then you would need to dilute these more. Um, so how would we use oregano? Well, um, as parents, sometimes have to deal with these lovely delights such as verrucas. Um, it can also be used on warts or skin tags, so all those kinds of issues. So because they're viral, we can actually treat them with oregano oil. And you could also use um, that in pairing that with melaleuca as well. Um, you just cover the affected area with a barrier creamer outside it. And then with a toothpick, um, because it is very strong, you would dab the area with the oregano um, and do that for seven days and then have a seven day break. And then you just keep repeating that cycle and eventually it will go. So we've got a recipe here, um, which includes oregano. And that's, uh, this should be your absolute go-to um, through the winter, the first sign of feeling unwell, um, which um, for me usually is like a scratchy throat. And it's great if you can catch that before it develops into something else. So we call this the flume bomb recipe. Um, it's called flume because it's um, with frankincense, which we, all, um, we haven't talked about yet, lemon, on guard, which we'll come to, oregano, and then melaleuca. And the combination of those five oils is an absolute powerhouse um, for boosting our immune system. So you take that recipe in a veggie cap, um, or you could put that recipe in a uh, roller ball. You'd probably put like five drops of each in a 10 mil roller ball and then top it up with carrier oil. And that would go on the soles of your feet every morning. And that would give your immune system strength to get through the winter season, hopefully without getting too poorly. So that's a great way of using oregano. And that's our lovely oregano. Okay, so most of the oils we've talked about so far have been around the 10 to 20 mark. Um, but you can see from, from this one that the price jumps up quite a lot uh, for frankincense. And that's because it's the king of oils. It's an absolutely beautiful oil, um, very, very precious. And it's used in many cultures across the world. I love um, frankincense. It works on a regenerative level, so it can help our healthy um, cells to um, regenerate. And it's rich in antioxidants. So it's a good oil for the immune system and skincare products. And I put a drop of this in my nighttime moisturizer. I also use it on the bottom of my feet. Um, either first thing in the morning at, or last thing at night um, to boost my immune system. And doTERRA, as well as having the, sort of the bottles, they also do pre-diluted pre roller bottles, which are quite a handy way of um, buying them. You can either buy them pre-diluted or you could actually make up your own. So with um, frankincense, it actually enhances other oils due to its tiny molecules. It acts as a driver for oils um, penetrating your bloodstream and working around the system more quickly and effectively. So often if um, I, I'll use an oil and then you sort of put this over the top of it just to help drive that into the system. So that's quite a, a good tip to know. Um, it can be used with lavender and peppermint to calm um, anxious feelings. And it's a great grounding oil. So it's perfect for anyone that uses um, who practices yoga or if you meditate. So that's that's our frankincense. Did I? Oh yeah, no. Oh, no. On guard. <laughs> Me again. <laughs> so we've talked about doTERRA's single oils and now we're going to cover some of the wonderful blended oils. So this is On Guard, it's the natural defense and it's the protective blend. This is one of doTERRA's most popular oils and has developed into a whole range. It consists of clove, cinnamon, rosemary and wild orange and it smells a bit like Christmas in a bottle. It um, 
they do toothpaste, mouthwash, uh, cleaner concentrate, um, washing liquid, so ha hand wash, many, many um, products. It, it's certainly a very popular range. It's great for boosting the immune system. So we would dilute this one with the roller bottle, um, with fractionated coconut oil in a roller bottle, and you can use it on children, um, up and down their spine is a great place to put it, or the bottom of their feet. And you can also apply it um, topically. So this is a hot oil, so you would dilute it. Um, you can actually apply it to the throat area if you're feeling unwell. And I did that fairly recently. I could feel my glands coming up and um, I applied this to my throat, but I was a bit blasé and just put it on neat. And then I came out in a rash. So it really made me realize that you have to treat them sort of carefully and, and not just, you know, it's easy just to sort of apply the oils and, and you forget how potent they are. You can also diffuse these um, um, on guard to reduce environmental threats. So especially if you had a visitor, not that we've got many visitors at the moment, but if somebody came to your house um, with the sniffles, you could discreetly put on guard in your diffuser. Um, and we've also already mentioned this as part of the flume bomb. And you can also dilute it into a spray bottle with some water and use it to clean down doorknobs, telephones, or any other community surfaces. So that's a great, um, great oil to have. And like I say, I've really got into my green cleaning, mainly because I've been increasingly sort of made aware of all the toxins and artificial fragrances on all the shop bought products. So I make all my cleaning products and doTERRA have their cleaner concentrate and it's designed to be the ideal natural cleaner. It's non-toxic, it's biodegradable, and one bottle would make up to 18 bottles um, of the say a multi-purpose cleaner so it, it makes it very cost effective and I use this for my cleaner in my kitchen in my bathroom I use it for my dishes and it even makes a good makeup um, brush cleaner so that is on guard so Zengest um, our digestive support blend um, Zengest is a blend of aniseed, caraway, fennel, tarragon, peppermint, uh, ginger and coriander. Um, it smells a bit aniseedy, um, uh, which I particularly love. Um, it's a great oil because it works really quickly. So we'd use this for any digestive discomfort, any motion sickness, nausea. Um, so say perhaps you had a big meal and you've been out to a restaurant and you'd eaten too much and you just couldn't get comfortable. Um, this is just amazing because it does relieve so quickly. You can also use it if you um, maybe like if, if a child wakes up in the middle of the night uh, with sickness bugs so you can soothe them and help them help their bodies to recover more quickly using Zengest. Um, so how would you actually use it? You would for an adult I'd take one drop of a, a take a couple of drops of it in glass of water after mealtime um, or I would have it during mealtimes if you're a regular sufferer. Um, you can use it to regulate your stool movements so this helps either way so if you're a little bit constipated or you've got a, a runny tummy then you could apply Zengest to the stomach area. So for children you'd use a 10 pence blob of carrier oil and one drop and then apply it to the abdomen area in a clockwise motion. Um, and adults, you would um, use a little bit less carrier oil, maybe like a five pence blob and one or two drops of Zengest and use it in the same motion. So you can do both things as well. So that's the great thing about the oils is that sometimes you might need to hit the body a little bit harder. Um, and if you're feeling really, really bloated after a meal, then you could have a couple of glasses of the um, the oil in the water and then you could also apply it to your stomach and you're not going to overdose on the oils because they're natural. I mean the only thing we do need to be careful of is um, not to exceed 24 drops in one day which would be very very rare that you would get to that uh, number of drops in a day. So Zengest is a great one if you have any discomfort of a meal or if you're prone to that I definitely recommend our lovely Zengest. 
Okay, now moving on to air. Now, air is the, it was previously known as breathe, and it's the respiratory blend. And this is the air that really got me into doTERRA in the first place. Um, my husband and I are both snorers and we'd wake each other up every single mm. night. And I couldn't believe the effect, the positive effect that this had um, on our, our sleeping. So it's a minty sort of hot, fresh, airy aroma. It's got a blend of laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, uh, melaleuca, lemon, ravensara and cardamom. It can't be taken internally due to its contents and it is photosensitive, but it's a very gentle oil and it can, when diluted with a carrier oil, it can be even um, used for babies. So um, like I say, I use this every night at night. Um, I put it on the bottom of my feet. There's, a, if you're into sort of reflexology, there are reflex points and I've points on the feet and I believe it's the base of your big toe so um, pop it on the bottom of your feet put it in the diffuser I even make up a little um, roller bottle keep this by the side of my bed and I apply it to the bridge of my nose and you can apply it to the chest as well so it's a great one for opening up the airways and um, and because of that it's it's good to use if you're feeling a bit snuffly and before an exercise class or yoga. So, so that's a, a really good one to have, one of my favorites. Okay, so Deep Blue, this is the soothing blend. It's got a menthol aroma, um, which you'll recognize when you sniff it. Um, it's a blend of wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum and osmanthus. Um, which is a power pack of incredible oils and um, really giving soothing and comforting properties. And I, I absolutely love the smell of it. Um, it can't be taken internally and that's why um, it has a safety cap on it, but it's great for using topically and it has great anti-inflammatory properties. Um, I use it diluted uh, with coconut oil on aching joints and muscles and always after I've been for a run or a bike ride. Um, it provides a really lovely soothing and cooling sensation after exercise um, and you can also apply it to like wrists and fingers, um, shoulders and neck um, after a long period of sitting um, so at your computer, maybe working from home, um, so it's really great to use for that um, and it's really lovely to take with you if you're going for a massage um, in a beauty salon, so take the deep blue with you, ask the um, massage therapists to use it um, it's so nice to have that rubbed all over your body so that's our lovely deep blue okay so as well as um the sort of bottles of oil doTERRA also do supplements and um so they come in a pack of three three bottles now my husband and i both take these supplements and my husband was involved in a serious road traffic accident a couple of years ago. And at the beginning of this year, he was really suffering emotionally. Um, so within weeks of taking this, he noticed such a huge positive result in his mental health, um, mental well-being. And I didn't really appreciate how they were affecting me until we ran out. And after sort of a week of, of not taking them, my joints started to hurt um so so yeah they are they are a super supplement and you can see from the slide that they cost 72 pounds for a month's supply but if you were to sort of buy the foods to to get the same benefit um it just puts it into perspective because you're getting sort of all all the benefit that um that you need and they're basically a, a platform for good all-round health and they actually offer the nutritional equivalent of 12 servings of fruit and veg per serving. So I've got a, a list here of their primary benefits and they include uh, general um, wellness and vitality, their antioxidant and DNA protection, energy metabolism, bone health, immune function, stress management, cardiovascular health, healthy hair, skin and nails, eye, brain and nervous system, liver function and digestive health, lung and respiratory health, 
they're gentle on the stomach mm -hmm. and they're non-GMO, gluten-free and dairy-free. And they also come in a vegan option as well. And um, I had a customer who sent me a message yesterday, actually, that she'd only been taking them for a week, but she had such a, a sort of difference in the feeling in her stomach and she had a lot more energy and so so they they are a very good supplement and doTERRA feels so strongly about them that they give a full money back guarantee even if you've used the whole month's supply so you could send back your empty bottles and they'd give you your money back so yeah just touching so briefly on on their supplements as well so that concludes our um, talk on the top 10 oils and some of their amazing uses. So hopefully you've learnt lots and can see how they benefit the whole family. And I just think it's amazing how these oils can support the sort of health and well-being of the whole family on a daily basis. And I, for one, no longer buy anything, um, any over-the-counter medication. Since discovering the oils, if I've got any sort of health issues that I'll look up in my book and rather than taking I always used to have um, paracetamol in my handbag and instead I make up my roller bottle with with the oils that will help with tension if I, I always had digestive problems and I'd have um, tablets in my bag but instead I'll put a drop in my water so they, they have truly changed the way I, I used to see things and the way way I, I live basically so I'm just going to quickly run through ways of purchasing, should you wish to do so. So what we've got here on this slide is an example of a few of the oils. And if you look at the purple titles, you'll see a retail and a wholesale price. And as we've gone along, we've talked about each of the oils, you'll have seen uh, these two prices on the slides. So you'll notice the letters PV. So that's the product value and it's doTERRA's currency. Um, because they're an American company and they, they deal all over the world, they, they have to have some sort of currency that we can all understand. So basically, we've got the retail price. So this is the um, price for anyone that's thinking, well, I might try one oil and see how I get on. However, if you think that you're likely to benefit from two or three of the oils, then the whole sale price column is for you. So if we just take a look at the wholesale column for a second, and um, let's look at the, the top oil, Arbovite. Arbor, <laughs> the wholesale column price is 18 pounds and the retail price is 24. So to get the oils at the reduced re, um, wholesale price, you'd need to become a wholesale member or a customer. And that's uh, for an annual fee of 24 pounds. So although I say an annual fee, it's 24 pounds for the first year but second and subsequent years, it's 18 pounds and you get a free peppermint oil. But this is the way to benefit from the wholesale price, which is giving you a saving of 25% of the retail price of everything you buy. And with a wholesale membership also comes many benefits, which Sarah's gonna run through in a moment. So if any of you are interested in this, Sarah or I would be happy to help you um, put an order together to suit your needs and then you can gradually add to your collection and again we will be there to help you all the way through or another way of purchasing the oils which is the most cost effective way is with the kits so doTERRA have grouped together these oils into kits to make them more cost effective for us to buy and I just want to point out two of the kits here so on the left hand side of the screen we've got the one in the green box um, we've got the Family Essentials Kit and um, on the right hand side we've got the Home Essentials Kit and this is the one that Sarah and I both started with. So in both of these kits we've got the 10 core oils and they're the ones that we've spoken about this evening but the difference is the size of the bottles. So the Family Essentials Kit has 5 ml bottles and the Home Essentials Kit has 15 ml bottles. So in effect, you're getting three times the amount of oil in the Home Essentials kit for just shy of double the price. And we've highlighted the savings that you can make. So rather than buying the oils individually, you can see the huge savings. So you've got £45 saving for the Home Essentials or £120 saving for the, um, no, say Family Essentials, for the um, £120 saving for the Home Essentials. 
Um, so it's really good value and if you're interested in all of the oils, especially the frankincense, uh, that's uh, by far the best way to purchase. So with both kits you also get a freebie. With the Family Essentials kit you get the two little packs of beeglets, um, peppermint and on guard. And I've got the on guard here. They're, they come in, they're like little um, caviar, so tiny little um, beeglets and they contain a third of a drop of oil. So you can use them internally. So if they're, they're great sort of um, handbag tool. The on guard beadlets are great if you're out and about, um, especially if you're, you feel like you're coming down with something. Just pop one of those in your mouth. You can also pop a beadlet in your hand and actually burst it. And um, yeah, it's great for supporting the immune system. And the peppermint beadlets are a great way to freshen your breath. Um, they're good for mental clarity or to give you a bit of an energy boost. So they're great little freebies to have. And in the Home Essentials kit, you get a free petal diffuser, which is a really good gift. So both kits um, also include your enrolment membership and they also come with a booklet, um, which is an illustrated book that sort of goes through all of the oils if you can see those there but, but that's um, that's a great one and there are some amazing promotions especially this month if you enroll with a kit or anything up to the value of 100 pv in july and then we've we have the loyalty rewards program which i won't go into detail tonight but it's a bit like a, a boots card so you start earning points so if you were to then place an order in July of 100 PV, you'll receive 100 free points into your account in September to spend as you wish. So that's a really sort of good incentive if you were thinking of, of enrolling or buying a kit. Um, and they have also got, they often, well, not often actually, but this month they've got the BOGOs. So we've got one more day, it ends tomorrow, but if you were to buy the bergamot, you'd get the clementine for free. If you buy the clary sage, you get laurel leaf free. And if we've got the console um, and you get two free, and I can't see them, what's that? The cheer and forgive. Um, so yeah, great, great offers um, in July. And they also do, so when you're a member, there's a product of the month. So if you were to place an order from the 1st to the 15th of the month and your order is over a certain value um, of points, there's always a free product of the month. So that's always one to take advantage of. And there's always an oil that has 10% off. And this month it's Terra Shield, which an, is an insect repellent. So that's yeah, that often um, really good, good deals to be had. So for anyone enrolling, whether it's with a membership and a couple of oils or a kit, you will receive a gift from us. Um, and we would give you a five mil bottle of wild orange, two roller bottles and an A to Z mini guide. And um, Sarah will also tell you what support you get. Okay. So when I went to my first intro class with Debbie, I was really wowed by the benefits that I could my me and my family could get from the oils I also felt a little bit daunted because I had no experience of aromatherapy or essential oils and I was wondering where I would begin and I just wanted to reassure um, everyone that if you are feeling that the way that way the reason that doTERRA choose to sell their products through wellness advocates like Debbie and myself is because they want to ensure that they come with a support and a community and they basically want them to come with sort of knowledge and a network and that's why we're here for you so if you choose to invest in the oils with a wholesale account you'll get a personalized welcome consultation with debbie or i and that's um, a session just to make sure that you're happy using the oils um, because the last thing we want is that you invest in them and they just sit on the shelf and you just really don't get the benefit from them um, so that would be on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, we can have a chat and just as, and that can just as easily be done on Zoom or um, on the phone. Um, we'll also add you to our closed Facebook group 
um, that's got a lovely load of other doTERRA wellness advocates and also other customers. Um, so if you ever had a question and maybe if you couldn't get hold of Debbie or I, you'd be able to post something on that um, Facebook group and um, someone will be on there or who would always reply to you. And there's also a lot of really interesting content of um, lifestyle ways to kind of incorporate and use your oils on there that you can access. Um, there's also uh, a WhatsApp group that you can join and that will keep you up to date with any new products and things that are happening. And we've got this, we've got access within our team to an um, amazing set of continued education and support classes that cover all sorts of uses for the oils um, from using them as part of your sporting um, interests, uh, using them with your pets, um, looking after your gut, cooking with them, cleaning with them. There's so many ways that you can all use oils um, and so you can be rest assured that there'll be plenty of support in making the most of the oils that you do have. So that's that. If anyone would like to host a class, whether that be online um, which we're obviously doing at the moment, or in your home or the garden, and you've got any friends that you think might be interested in the oils, we can always tailor that to any specific interests. And there would always be a um, gift for the, the host. So just let us know if, if you think um, that applies. And I just wanted to let you know that with doTERRA, you have a choice of where to go next. So you can either live the product and love it and have it in your life as a customer, or there is the option to share the product. So this is for people who want to do a bit more with doTERRA, but do it really casually. And you'll probably find that once you start living um, the product, you naturally start to share the oils with your family and friends. And um, there are ways that we can help you do that. Or there's the option to build the business, and that's the option that Sarah and I have taken. So yeah, it's just to, to let you know that there is more to doTERRA than just the oils. So I'm going to stop the share, um, stop the video, the record if I can. Anyone know how to do that? <laughs> Thank <laughs>